Hey guys, British car fan here. So today I'm at Cars and Coffee once again. Uh, so yeah, uh, this time there's a lot of more interesting cars here. Um, I'm over here. Uh, there's my grandfather again. And we brought the TR6. We brought the Porsche, which my dad drove. And we parked next to a few of the British cars here. So this is a MGB. There's a, a Triumph TR4 right over here. And we have a 79 Mini Cooper, a few MGBs, and we have a 1980, uh, what should we call it, a uh, TR8. And there's some uh, Austin Healy's here. And there's a whole row of uh, Rovers. So, Mini Stevens, Fishy, this is for you. I found all these Rovers here. I would say my favorite Rover is probably this one. This is uh, more of like a military army slash type of vehicle. And I do love the, uh, the tire on the front, or the spare wheel, actually. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of Corvettes, there's a lot of Fords, there's a lot of Hyundais, there's a lot of Toyotas here today, because I was just looking around. Um, but yeah, here's, here's all the Corvettes. The red one is probably my favorite. The green one is awesome, too. The yellow one, not so much. This one's not, my, not really my favorite. This one's probably a 2020, because the 2021s really haven't came off the... Of, Came, came out of the uh, the factory yet, so. We have a Cobra here, Cadillac. We have some Porsches. The yellow one right there is a Porsche 914. The gray one here is a Cayman. But yeah, um, we're gonna go and take a look around for a little bit. Got an old Volkswagen here, right next to a uh, Volkswagen van. You don't really see that many of those these days at all. Got a Chevy pickup. Looks like they lowered the suspension of that one. Um, we have another Chevrolet here. BMW. This is probably like a Z4, probably. Has a European plate on it. But over here, this is where all these the uh, exotic cars are. There's a Lamborghini right there. That one looks like an SVJ, or that could be... Uh, not really sure there's some more revving going on down there so uh there's a ferrari over here i guess we can go and take a look at that there's an audi r8 this looks like a hellcat right there another there's a lamborghini s um suv i don't know what brand that one is but yeah this is the audi r8 it looks like a v10 these are pretty cool yeah it's a v10 uh, this is the Ferrari here. The Ferrari is probably my favorite. Got another Jaguar F-Type here. There's actually another one down there. But yeah, we have a, this yellow McLaren, the same one from last time. This is a Lotus. It's a British car. <laughs> Next to the Jaguar F-Type. I would say the Jaguar F-Type is my favorite. Very uh, nice looking months. car. Yeah, it was, uh, my husband bought it for me for Christmas. So this looks like the, oh, this is the F-Type S. Very nice. Love this car. Red interior, gray exterior. Um, got some, got a Porsche there. There's another, that same Ferrari. Um, here's the McLaren. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, there's the McLaren. Let's see if we can get an interior shot. Very cool. Yeah, uh, there's the, this looks like a Targa of a, uh, of a Lamborghini. They're not really my favorite. Uh, there's another Lotus here. Pretty cool. I, 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 I actually love the Lotus. The Lotus is probably my favorite. This one's stick shift. So it's a lot better than those dumb Lamborghinis. Then we have a GTR right here. I don't, I don't like GTRs either. We have a Cayman. Then we have a 996 Cabriolet. My grandfather used to have a 996. His was for a 2003 model, and his was a Cabriolet. Uh, it was more of a silver exterior and this same gray interior, so I remember this car when he used to have that. Um, but yeah, we have another Ferrari here. Two Ferraris next to each other. The blue one right there looks like my favorite. Um, and then we have a sapphire blue metallic uh, Lamborghini Aventador. So this is the newer one, and this is the old one. Uh, then we have a Corvette Stingray, Toyota Supra, uh, Porsche 997 there, another Stingray, 
Got some Camaros here. Oh, I'm, I, I actually, I actually remember this. Uh, I remember this same, um, the same Camaro. This was at Cars and Coffee a few weeks ago, probably more than a few weeks ago. Um, this is a Trans Am. I love these Trans Ams. These, these look amazing. Pontiac Trans Am. This, this movie, uh, this car was in, what was that movie called? Um, Billy Madison. This car was in Billy Madison, but except it was black and it had that same eagle on the front and that little, uh, bed for the engine. But except the one in, uh, Billy Madison was a, uh, Targa. Very cool. Um, then we have a Studebaker here. This dark green one. I think this is, a, yeah, another Lotus. Goodness gracious. There's three Lotuses here. That's cool. But they're a lot of money. And there's a, staying right behind it, and there's a, I think it's like a fake Cobra. Not really sure. Oh, we have a BMW coupe here. Very nice. Very nice. Some interesting cars here. Very interesting. Another Stingray. This is a Pontiac. This thing is huge. Look how long this thing is very long you can fit over six people in there you can also kidnap some people too in the trunk a massive trunk got some pontiac gtos here uh two mazda miatas that that are kind of redneck looking uh then we have this 1904 oldsmobile Oldsmobile. I forgot the uh, the model of it, but this is a 1904 Oldsmobile. This is a two-cylinder engine. It doesn't have a parking brake, so you have to put these pieces of wood underneath it, underneath the wheel. But this is what it looks like. There's the steering wheel, and there's a the little horn on it. And here are the little headlamps that you have to light at night when you park the car. Um, yeah, so here's the TR6 that we brought today. The Porsche is over, over there next to a uh, white GT4, I think. Yeah, I think it's a GT4. Um, but we're gonna head down here, see what's over here. I think we covered, we covered most of this area, so let's go over here, see what's down here. Um, there's another Super there. Got a Genesis. Genesis are pretty cool. I like the uh, G90s and the G80s. Uh, got the same Corvettes. We got a whole bunch of VTEX here. I'm not. VTECs are decent. I just really, I'm not. I'm not really a fan of that many Hondas. Not to break your all's opinion, but I'm just not. Not really much into Japanese Japanese cars. Um, but Genesis is Japanese. But I mean that car is nice. But the rest of them not really. Um, we have a Maserati. I think this is a Gran Turismo. I think. I think it's a two yeah it's a two door but i think it's a grand turismo i think they're two doors but yeah this car looks really nice honestly bmw here three series uh i got a another mustang out um acura rsx and a honda i don't know the model of this honda i really just don't know i'm not that i'm not that honda person we have a nissan skyline right here I don't know what year this one is. Probably from the 90s, I'm guessing. A lot of people, they like to customize these cars, so it's pretty much none of this stuff is even stock at all. Uh, I got more Corvettes there, another Hellcat. Uh, got a Porsche uh, Panorama. He is. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, I got a BMW here. And we have another Lotus here. Four four Lotuses so far on camera. Uh, and then there's an Alfa Romeo behind it. Let's go and take a look at that Alfa Romeo. You have some, I think these are Corvettes, I think. Don't really know. But yeah, here's the Alfa Romeo. Very nice car. Looks really cool. Yeah, I've, I've filmed this Alfa Romeo a few times. So... It's, it's been to Cars and Coffee multiple times. There's a few cars down there. There's only a few. Looks like we have a, uh, a Matador. I think this looks like a AMC Matador. That's what it is. I know on the TV show Adam 12, um, Pete Malloy and his partner, Jim, Jim, Jim Reed. Yeah, it's his, his name is Jim Reed. And they were driving a police car. That was a 1972 AMC Matador. Mador Matador. 
and that was the police car they were using. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Got a Nissan pickup. My grandfather used to have a Nissan pickup. Oh no, this is Subaru. But he had one that the, the Nissan looked very identical. But yeah, um, there's another Jaguar F-Type down here that I want to show on camera. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. But other than that, there's some cool cars here. Very cool cars. Yeah, Cars and Coffee was canceled last week because it was pouring down rain. And it was very misty and wet outside. But yeah. It's very nice out here. Early in the morning. Usually it's really cold in the mornings, but it's around like 69, 70 degrees out here. It's very nice. You got an older 90s Supra right here. It looks like a 1996. Got a Lexus coming in. I uh, got a Mazda Miata here, 90s Miata. Yeah, here's the uh, here's the other F-Type. This is a uh, F-Type S, just like the same one that I filmed before. What an amazing car, black and a red interior. This is very classic for those uh, Jaguar E-Types. Most of them, they were like either a silver or a white exterior with red interior. Got a, I think, yep, another Rover coming in, nice so many rovers here today it looks like this is the rover day very cool two jags and over like seven to eight rovers today so we have this rover and, oh there's a new rover here this green one here this one this one's in really good shape i love rovers rovers and jags and porsches are all me especially the manual version of rovers I know they made uh, manual SUVs for a bit. Uh, this one has a this one has a winch on it. Let's see if I can get some in. Uh, oh, this is a. Let's see if I can get some interior shots. This is a V8. It's a Land Rover Defender. Oh, this one's automatic though. But I love the color. I love the uh, winter green color. Very nice. Very nice. Got this older Rover here with the Jerry can on the back. Very very stylish. But yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up for the video. I think that's about it for today. Um, but yeah, I hope, hope you all enjoy. And I will catch you all on the next, on the next uh, video of Cars and Coffee. So see you all. Have a nice day. Take care. Goodbye.